New second sun theory indicates that planet 9 is not alone in the outer solar system. Planet 9 or Nibiru or planet 10 or planet X or Wormwood or Nemesis, many words for this planet. Our sun had a companion, a binary star system that is, our solar system was a binary solar system. Our sun had a companion and there could be many undiscovered dwarf planets in the outer part of our solar system. That's according to a new paper from scientists from Harvard University. Published recently in the Astrophysics Journal Letters, the paper by Dr. Avi Loeb, professor of science at Harvard and Harvard undergraduate student Amir Saraj goes against the dominate a lone star thinking about the sun's origin. Now, the, the astronomers have said that at least 30% of star systems are binary star systems. Now, the, their radical sounding theory that the solar system may have once been a binary star system, so consisting of two stars orbiting a common point in space, perhaps should not come as a surprise. A binary star system is a system of two astronomical bodies which are close enough that their gravitational attraction causes them to orbit each other around a Barry center. More restrictive definitions require that this common center of mass is not located within the, entire, the interior of either object in order to exclude the typical planet, satellite systems, and planetary systems. Now, the most common binary systems are binary stars and binary asteroids as well, but brown dwarfs, planets, neutron stars, black holes, and galaxies can also form binaries. A multiple system is like a binary system but consists of three or more objects such as for tertiary stars and trinary stars and asteroids as well. A binary system is brighter the brighter object is referred to as the primary, and the other is the secondary. They are also classified based on orbit. Wide binaries are objects with orbits that keep them apart from another. They evolve separately and they have very little effect on each other after, uh, but there are though uh, close binaries. Uh, they're close to each other and are able to transform mass from one to the other. They can also be classified based on how we observe them. Visual binaries are two stars separated enough that they can be viewed from a telescope or binoculars. Eclipsing binaries are where the object's orbits are at an angle that when one passes in front of the other, it causes an eclipse as seen from the Earth. And also the astrometric binaries are objects that seem to move around nothing as their companion objects cannot be identified. It can only be inferred. The companion object may not be bright enough or may be hidden in the glare from the primary object. Binary companions or minor planets. When binary and minor planets are similar in size, they may be called binary companions instead of referring to the smaller body as a satellite. This is from Wikipedia. And also the um, article on bended reality. I'll leave links below for you. Please leave your comments. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation 
with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.